So, in the interest of uh, making the lizard room more all about the lizards, it is going to be about time for me to say goodbye to my beloved uh, Star Wars collectible shelf that I have here. Uh, my wife would call them toys, I call them collectibles. So I've had some of them well over 20 years. I love my Star Wars. But anyways, next time you see that wall, it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to have my probably 50% of what I want my hatchling rack to look like. So you, it'll be one shelf. I hopefully, uh, eventually, next few weeks, couple months maybe, have a second shelf. But uh, so stay tuned. All right, so we're getting there. Some progress. Had to have some bosk up there. All right, so I placed a order with the Reptile Supply Company .com. Um, That's a website that uh, showed up on my Facebook news feed, so I went to it, and they had extremely reasonable prices. So I went ahead and um, you know placed an order with them. Um, I've done Doctors Foster and Smith, uh, Triple L Reptile Supply .com. A uh, bunch of the other ones in this place seem to just edge them out just a little bit. So, um, what I ordered was, uh, well, let's just crack the box open real quick. This is my, uh, my first dry goods uh, unboxing for you guys. And most of what I ordered is for my night and all hatch, hatchling rack that I've been talking about. So, what I envisioned was a bunch of nano breezes, and I want to put four to five hatchlings per nano breeze, um, and that's you know the shelves that I was showing you. Um, I made the mistake last year, and I think I spoke about this before. Uh, I put all of my night in all my in all sequestrous hatchlings in one terrarium, and unfortunately, over a span of six, eight, twelve weeks. Uh, the older ones ended up eating three or four of the most recent ones. Stupid, stupid mistake on my part. Um, just, just stupid. I should have known that was going to happen. Um, so, but I'm definitely not going to let that happen this time, especially not with the small wood eye hatchlings. So, anyways, five of these. And of course, uh, you can't see them over my head. When I do a room tour, which is coming, everybody's asking me to do a room tour. I just want to make sure, you know, I want the room to be presentable. I don't want it to be cluttered. I want it to be kind of semi-finished how I want it. Um, but I'll talk about how I heat my, um, my large display terrariums behind me. And uh, the, the Zilla mini halogen bulbs, the little dome lamps, um, that's what I use. So I went ahead and make sure I have replacement bulbs on, on hand for those if they were ever to go out. So I got some 25 watt ones and some 50 watt ones because I have uh, numerous of those little Zilla dome lamps. I really like those lamps. So anyways, in this box, there's five of the nano breezes. So uh, I'm gonna get to work putting them together and uh, I think I have enough, I, I got some live plants and I've got some uh, some branches that I'll, I'll have three of them set up and then I just need to get some stuff to do to finish off the other two. I'll show you guys that here in a little bit. But that's box number one from reptilesupplycompany.com. Box number two, um, you guys can probably guess what this is. But when I did my little experiment, I, I don't know, what, two weekends ago, three weekends ago? Regarding the temperatures close to the T5 high output light fixture, um, I had to go ahead and uh, get the fixture. There we go. So, 48 inches long. The nano breezes are 10 inches wide, five of them, that's 50 inches, so there'll be an inch on either side that doesn't have this. I envision this resting right on top of the five uh, enclosures, and um, the little babies can get up close to this bulb, get plenty of warmth. So I showed you guys it got way up into the mid-90s, um, and I'm just looking forward to getting them together. At least three of them will be set up with a plant and some decorations and some bedding. So that's what I'm going to work on now when we come back. Uh, 
This is phase one of my, what I, what I consider hopefully phase one of my hatchling rack. I want to do another one on, on top of it, because right now I just have the smallwood eye eggs. If all goes well, I should have some barracoa eggs and some equestrous eggs this season, so I'm going to need more uh, hatchling enclosures. All right, see you shortly. All right, so a couple hours later, with the help of Jen, uh, we were able to uh, put together five of the Zoomed Nano Breezes. Very impressed. Um, just like all of their other Reptibreeze products, um, you know, match the letters up, put it together. The little guys are sturdy. It comes with an acrylic front. Um, had to modify a little bit. Um, I, I definitely want to keep up humidity for the hatchlings, so I wrapped all five of the nano breezes with a little piece of drop cloth. Uh, started on the, the right side of the rightmost enclosure, wrapped it all the way around the back to the left side of the leftmost enclosure. So there's still screen at the bottom, still screen on top for that ventilation. Uh, and obviously they can get cross ventilation because the, all the, the sides in the middle um, are, are open. So here we go. So, like I said, um, you know, still got the letters. I'm gonna eventually take those off, but that's that's you know how Zoomed helps us get them together. There's all five of them. They're very lightweight, uh, very sturdy construction. Um, went to uh, Lowe's, got some coffee plants. So I got three coffee plants. Got their last ones. Rinsed them off real well. Uh, repotted them in organic potting soil. Had some pieces of chola cactus uh, that used to be in the uh, big night and all enclosures. Went ahead and chopped them down to make them fit. Uh, got the uh, T5 high output 48 inch uh, UVB light on top. Plenty of warmth going to be kicking in there. So the next step is for me to go get the four existing hatchlings, uh, put them in here, and I think I'm going to do five per. Um, keep an eye on any aggression or anything, but uh, that's my game plan. So there's. You know, here's for 25 hatchlings. I, I still got 15 small wood eye eggs incubating. So uh, I envision maybe um, up top, another shelf, another rack of these guys. So uh, props to Zoomed and their Nano Breeze product, uh, an affordable uh, way to make a hatchling rack in my humble opinion. And uh, reptilesupplycompany.com, uh, check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, so you can go there and um, their prices are pretty good uh, and again in my opinion so uh, I think I'll come back momentarily once I have the four hatchlings uh, I'm going to start them off in this enclosure put the next one in there with them so I'll be five and then we'll just go this way onward and onward alright got my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing so uh, see you in a few Settling right in, drinking some water. Little guy doing some head bobbing. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that little uh, unboxing, little construction of my um, night and all hatchling rack, uh, phase one. Um, <laughs> these little buggers are aggressive with one another, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to put five in, in uh, one or not, or just keep it at four, but uh, I do plan on, you know, they're only, what, the oldest one's March the 15th, so they're only, you know, not even ten days old yet. Um, most recent one just two days ago so I want to make sure they're eating crickets some small mealworms maybe some tiny dubia or some phoenix worms or something just make sure they're doing well and then I'm gonna offer up for, uh, offer them up uh, for sale not quite sure what I'm gonna ask yet I'm gonna look around see what kind of the going rate is but um, like I said before I'm, I'm not in this in this to make money but you know a little extra a little extra cash is uh, going to be beneficial to me and my family with some of the stuff we got going on. So anyways, um, it's Saturday. Maybe I'll get this up tonight. I don't know. Um, if not, uh, like I always say, happy Sunday or, or, you know, happy Saturday. But uh, 303 subscribers. I've hit the 300 mark. Awesome. Thank you. Um, just say, hey, if you have any questions, if you like what you see, uh, please share. 
comment, subscribe, you know, tell your friends about the channel. Uh, I just like sharing, you know, uh, my critters and what I do and uh, all that good stuff. So, uh, till next time, thanks. Bye.